What if I told you that you could hop into a time machine and witness the universe's first moments? And no, I'm not talking about a sci-fi movie plot. I'm talking about a real $10 billion piece of engineering that promises to take us back, way back, to the dawn of the cosmos itself. Intrigued? Well, you should be. Meet the James Webb Space Telescope, the most ambitious space observatory ever built. It's been 14 years behind schedule and 20 times over budget. But guess what? Scientists, astronomers, and even regular folks like you and me are buzzing with excitement. Why? Because this isn't just any telescope. This is the telescope that could change everything we know about the universe. But what's all the hype about? We've had telescopes before, right? Hubble, Chandra, Spitzer... They've all been our eyes into the cosmos. But the JWST, it's like the superhero of telescopes, arriving fashionably late, but promising to save the day. First off, let's talk numbers. This telescope comes with a whopping $10 billion price tag. That's billion with a B. You could buy around 25,000 Lamborghinis with that kind of money. But who needs a Lambo when you can have a telescope that looks back in time? And speaking of time, this project is 14 years behind schedule and 20 times over budget. Normally, that would be a disaster, right? But here's the kicker. The scientific community is still buzzing. Why? Because the James Webb Space Telescope is designed to answer questions that have puzzled astronomers for decades. Imagine being able to look back at the universe's infancy, to witness the first stars flicker on. That's not just a chapter in a history book. That's a live feed from billions of years ago. It's like having a front row seat to the greatest show the universe has ever put on. But wait, there's more. This telescope isn't just going to orbit Earth like most satellites. Oh no. It's setting up shop at Lagrange Point 2, a spot four times farther away from Earth than the moon. That's taking social distancing to a whole new level. So. Is the JWST worth the hype, the delays, and the billions of dollars? Well, when you're talking about rewriting cosmic history, the answer is a resounding yes. So, what's its mission? What's its endgame? The JWST aims to look back at the cosmos' infancy. Imagine being able to see the universe's baby pictures, but in 4K Ultra HD. It's like the ultimate throwback Thursday, but on a universal scale. It's not just about stargazing, though. This telescope has a laundry list of questions it wants to answer. Questions like, what's the nature of the first stars? How did enormous black holes grow? What roles do magnetism and turbulence play in the universe? These are questions that have puzzled astronomers for a very long time, and the JWST is on a mission to solve them. And get this, it's not just looking at stars and galaxies. It's also going to study planets, both within our solar system and beyond. Ever wondered if there's life on other planets? Well, the JWST might just give us some clues. So, when it comes to the mission of the James Webb Space Telescope, it's not just a telescope, it's a time machine. A detective and an explorer all rolled into one, and it's about to embark on the most epic adventure the universe has ever seen. Now, where do you place a telescope that's destined to rewrite history? You can't just stick it in any old orbit. That's why the telescope is heading to a very special VIP lounge in space known as Lagrange Point 2. And what's so special about Lagrange Point 2? Well, it's super far away from Earth. It's like the telescope is going on a long vacation, far away from Earth's heat and light pollution. Why so far, you might ask? because JWST needs to enter a deep chill to detect the feeble heat of the cosmic dawn. It's like a detective going undercover, but instead of a trench coat and sunglasses, it's using a giant sun shield to block out heat from Earth, the moon, and the sun. Crucially, being at Lagrange Point 2 allows the telescope to stay in line with the Earth as it orbits the sun. This means it can keep its instruments pointed in the same direction for long periods, making it easier to capture those breathtaking cosmic snapshots. So when it comes to location, the James Webb Space Telescope couldn't have picked a better spot. It's like the penthouse suite of space observation. 
Now, if you're going to be a cosmic detective, you need the right gear, right? Enter the telescope's sunshield, which is not just any sunshield, not like the thing you put up on your car's windshield. This is the size of a tennis court. That's right, you could literally play a game of tennis on it if it weren't busy blocking out heat from the Earth, Moon, and Sun. But this isn't just about size, it's also about functionality. This sunshield is like the Swiss army knife of space gear. It has multiple layers, each with its own job, working in concert to create the perfect environment for the telescope's instruments. And here's the really techie part. The sunshield isn't made from just any material. It's engineered with specialized layers that not only reflect sunlight, but also radiate away the heat. Think of it as the ultimate thermal barrier designed with precision to do its job flawlessly. The effectiveness of this sunshield is mind-blowing. Imagine one side facing the sun, being hot enough to fry an egg, while the other side is cold enough to make ice cream. That's the kind of temperature difference we're talking about. So what groundbreaking discoveries are on the agenda? This telescope is more than just a high-tech marvel. It's a multidisciplinary research platform. For instance, the James Webb Space Telescope aims to study the atmospheres of exoplanets in unprecedented detail. It could reveal the chemical composition of these atmospheres, helping us understand whether these distant worlds have conditions suitable for life. Imagine finding a planet with an atmosphere similar to Earth's. Now that would be a headline. But it's not just about far-off worlds. The JWST will also scrutinize objects within our own solar system. From the icy moons of Jupiter to the mysterious dwarf planet Pluto, this telescope will give us a whole new perspective on our cosmic neighborhood. And here's something for the cosmologists. The telescope will also examine the large-scale structure of the universe. By studying how galaxies cluster and form vast cosmic webs, it could shed light on the nature of dark matter and dark energy, helping us understand the very fabric of the cosmos. In essence, JWST is poised to revolutionize our understanding of the universe on multiple fronts. From the atmospheres of these distant exoplanets to the large-scale structure of the universe, this telescope is set to redefine our cosmic perspective. Now, it's easy to get lost in the awe and wonder that the James Webb Space Telescope promises. But let's not forget, this journey hasn't been all smooth sailing. In fact, it's been riddled with challenges that would make even the most seasoned engineers break a sweat. Firstly, there's the delay. A 14-year delay, to be exact. Initially slated for a 2007 launch, the telescope faced numerous setbacks, from budget overruns to technical glitches. But, you know what they say, good things come to those who wait. And in this case, the wait could be well worth it. Then, there's the complexity. This isn't just a telescope, it's a marvel of engineering with over 300 single-point failures, meaning parts that could jeopardize the entire mission if they fail. The stakes are astronomically high. Literally. But it's not all doom and gloom. The triumphs are just as noteworthy. For instance, the telescope successfully passed a series of rigorous tests designed to simulate the harsh conditions of space. It's like the universe's toughest obstacle course, and the JWST aced it. Let's not forget the international collaboration. This isn't just a NASA project. It involves multiple countries and organizations all coming together for the love of science and discovery. We've talked about the telescope's capabilities and challenges, but what has it actually discovered? Well, let me tell you. The James Webb Space Telescope has been busy making headlines with some jaw-dropping revelations. You might remember the Pillars of Creation, that iconic image from Hubble. Well, the JWST has taken us even closer. It's revealed young red stars, or protostars, deep within the Eagle Nebula. These protostars were previously hidden behind dense clouds of dust and gas. Now, we can study these star-forming regions like never before, almost like we've been given VIP access to a cosmic laboratory for star formation. Then, there's the exoplanet HIP 65426b, this isn't just any exoplanet with a weird and hard-to-say name. It's a gas giant six times the size of Jupiter. And get this. It orbits its host star at a distance about 100 times greater than the Earth-Sun distance. Capturing its image was like finding a needle in a cosmic haystack. 
and it's opened up new possibilities for what we can discover in distant planetary systems. And speaking of planetary systems, let's talk about WASP-39b. The JWST didn't just spot this gas giant, it analyzed its atmosphere in detail. We're talking about detecting a mix of water vapor, sulfur dioxide, carbon monoxide, sodium, and potassium. The real kicker? The presence of sulfur dioxide was a total curveball, suggesting that less common reactions are at play in the planet's super hot atmosphere than we might have thought. But Webb's not just about planets and stars. It's given us a breathtaking view of the cosmic cliffs and the Carina Nebula. These aren't just pretty pictures. They're helping us understand how new stars are born and how they interact with their surrounding environment. It's like watching the universe in action. And let's not forget Stefan's Quintet, a group of galaxies that are so close that they're actually interacting with one another. These interactions can trigger star formation and even the creation of black holes. It's a great cosmic dance to which we've got front row seats. Last, but not least, there's WR140, a star surrounded by concentric rings. These rings are shells of material that are emitted every eight years when the two stars in the system are closest to each other. It's like a cosmic clock ticking away and marking the passage of time in the universe. So, the James Webb Space Telescope isn't just a piece of advanced technology, it's our window into the universe, revealing its secrets one stunning discovery at a time. So, we've marveled at the technological prowess of the JWST and reveled in its groundbreaking discoveries. But what's next? What does the future hold for this cosmic marvel? Firstly, the telescope is slated to operate for at least a decade. And given its performance so far, it could very well exceed that. It's like having a season ticket to the universe's greatest show, and we are just getting started. But it isn't a solo act. It's part of a larger ensemble of space missions and telescopes. Think of JWST as the lead singer in a band of cosmic explorers, each with its own unique instrument. Missions like the upcoming Nancy Grace Roman Space Telescope and the European Space Agency's Athena X-ray Observatory will complement Webb's capabilities, creating a symphony of scientific discovery. And let's not forget the human element. Behind every image and every data point are teams of scientists, engineers, and researchers who have dedicated years, even decades, to this project. Their work will continue as they sift through the treasure trove of data, seeking answers to questions we haven't even thought to ask yet. As we look to the future, one thing is clear. JWST is more than just a momentary spectacle. It's a long-term investment in our quest to understand the universe, and its impact will resonate for generations to come. There you have it, folks. We've taken a whirlwind tour of the James Webb Space Telescope from its mind-blowing tech to its universe-altering discoveries. If you are as fascinated by this cosmic journey as we are, you won't want to miss the next video appearing on your screen right now. And as always, thank you for watching.